Hey guys, my name is Rodney Sony and I'm going to be talking about medical schools in London today. So I'm currently a first year medical student at University College London, commonly known as UCL. So if you're interested, keep on watching this video because generally there are a lot of things that you can hear about about medical schools on the internet. But my main advice to you is these five things that I'm going to be talking about today and also the fact that you need to be able to know the course structure well of the university itself. So first things first, which medical schools are there in London? There's UCL, Imperial College London, King's College London, St George's and Bart's which is commonly known as Queen Mary's. Second thing, which ones require BMAT and UK CAT? BMAT is required by Imperial College London and UCL, whereas UK CAT is actually required by St George's, King's and Queen Mary's. Third thing, generally all medical schools will require some sort of work experience. It's usually they're looking at the quality of the work experience, not actually the quantity. And remember that when you're talking about the quality of the work experience itself, you talk about what you learnt from it. For example, interviewers really, really like when you remember a specific case study of a patient. For example, what disease did they have? And then what did the doctors do about it? What did the nurses do? And how they will work together? I remember it's all the skills that you are learning from that work experience, rather than and just doing it because you have to put in your personal statement. Fourth thing, what type of course is it? So remember that medical schools have two different types of courses. You have the traditional course and you have the PBL course. So the traditional course, it's mainly lecture based and you're usually like having small group teachings, whereas PBL is problem based learning and that's when you're put into a group of um, different medical students and you're given a specific case study of a patient and then from that case study within your team you allocate different aims and objectives to each other and then you independently study about it and bring that information back to your group so you're learning from others more than actually lectures and then some ones some universities obviously have a mix of lectures and PBL as well. Fifth thing interviews so remember that once you actually do your UK CAT and you do your BMAT if you choose to do it, then you worry about interviews when it gets to that stage. Because I guess for me, having the other stress of worrying about interviews before I even did my UK CAT, I think there was no point in that. So once you actually get to interview stage, just remember to do many, many mock interviews and remember to use a medical school's interview book because it really helps the official um, medical interviews book. And remember that interviews can take two forms, so traditional and MMI, traditional panel, I found was easier than MMIs personally and MMIs was multiple mini interviews where you basically had stations which you would go on and there'd be different tasks in each one. But that's it for today and good luck with everything that you do for your application and thank you very much for watching. Bye!